like to welcome back Karen Matthews from Inside Out Leadership. Karen, welcome. Thank you. More and more we're seeing organisations put in place programs to empower the women in their workforce. Mm -hmm. What works about those programs and what are the big mistakes you're seeing organisations make? Yeah, I, firstly I think the programs themselves um, are, are fantastic initiatives. However, they're only fantastic initiatives if there's a number of, of things in, in place. I think firstly they need to be done for the right reason. I think if they are being done because it's the fashionable thing to do, then I think they're fraught with danger. I think if they're being done to tick off a quota or a percentage or, or somebody's KPIs, I think that's also dangerous. I think the, the most effective programs that I've seen are the ones that are developed from the inside out, <laughs> uh, those programs that are developed from talking to the people within the organisation and really listening to and understanding what are their needs, what are their frustrations, what are the challenges that they're facing in terms of career progression. And I think that's another point. There needs to be a separation between the purpose of a, a forum such as a, any of these women's forums and also doing the daily to-do list and, and achieving KPIs in a role. The purpose, and I think the effective purpose of a women's forum is to, is to help women um, actually progress their career and to help them face the challenges and to conquer the challenges that go with that. So I think there needs to be a separation from daily task to, to career progression. So I think if, if those forums are then developed from the appropriate feedback from the people within the organisation, then that's the first big tick. I think then they need to be structured in a way that's right for that organisation. So going and doing your research and plucking some, the ABN forum or, or, or Westpac's forum or a zillion of other forums, plucking their format and just trying to slap it into an organisation is not the answer. It needs to be structured. That means the meetings, the mentoring, the, the, uh, the, the events, whatever it happens to be, the speakers that they have into those things. It all needs to be tailor-made to fit the organisation and the people who it's targeted at. It needs to be very personal, as personal as it can be in a, in a business. And I think it then needs uh, follow-through. I think the biggest risk of, of these forums is is they're introduced because it's the thing to do um, and, and somebody um, launches it and, and gets it off the ground and it's a, a successful, it gets a lot of, uh, I guess, high profile within the organisation. Everybody gets very excited and the momentum slowly dies. And the reason the momentum dies is because there's not the appropriate follow-up. Uh, it's not driven from the, the person heading it up. Everybody gets busy and they have other things to do and suddenly it's not so sexy and it's like, oh, you know, it just becomes a drag. And also the people within the forum aren't using it the way it needs to be. So there's a big accountability on the members of the forum to actually use it. Mm. So I, I, and I think that's the other thing. The members need to be doing it because they're going to be proactive about using it. Again, it's, it's just as much the responsibility of the members as it is um, about for the people who are actually running it. So the members need to push, the members need to network, they need to attend the functions, they need to, to be involved, actively involved with the forum and everything that it has to offer in the same way that the people running it need to keep it moving. It's very much a, a, a joint initiative that both parties are doing because it's an important thing for both parties, not because it's, it's a fashionable thing to do. So what we're saying is if you have the opportunity to be part of a program within your organisation, participate, otherwise it may just disappear. Yep. And if you're the person responsible for running it, then follow through, know who your audience is yep. and tailor it. What about... Um, and the, the other thing is if you're not, if you don't want to be that person running it, don't. I was going to say, yeah. quite yeah. often it'll fall on one person to be mm. the champion. Mm. What is the pitfall of that? Well, the pitfall of that is that person has a job, that person has a role, that person has KPIs and performance objectives and performance reviews and all the things that go with everyday life. So it needs to be, uh, that person needs to be able to do it and balance the rest of their, of their role. One of the questions that I've had from large corporations about looking at putting mentoring programs in place is, but we don't have that many role models, and, but we have a lot of women in the junior roles. Mm. How important do you think it is that it's the senior women who are mentoring the younger women? I don't think it's important at all. I think, I think organisation, good organisations, are full of people with different strengths. So there's nothing wrong with one junior mentoring another junior in an area that she's strong in. Um, 
and I, th I think the key with mentoring is mentors need to know how to mentor and mentees need to know how to be mentored because it's the same as a larger forum, it's a responsibility of both parties to, to, to make it successful. Um, also, I don't think there's anything wrong with men actually mentoring women. Um, again, if they've got to really believe in it, they can't be doing it to look like, you know, a sensitive new age man. They need to be doing it for the right reasons. Um, so I, I don't think there are any rules in this. And, and I think if mentoring and forums are done for the right reasons, then there shouldn't be any rules. Because it's all, it's personal. Leadership is personal. Career progression is personal. And a, and a corporate environment, you know, in, is personal. There's still personal aspects of any in, in business environment. So if you take all of those things into account and the fact that you're dealing with people and people's lives, it has to be flexible to be effective long term. Otherwise, it's only effective for five minutes. Great. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Thanks.